What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am at Homestead Speedway and I'm just here to check out an event going on here. We got a lot of cars racing in the full track. This circuit is not only a NASCAR type circuit but it also changes into a circuit racing track as well. So let's check out what we got going on today. Representing BMW here, we have a beautiful M4. It has some awesome bucket seats in it too. And you can tell that they've been having fun with it today. Hey, look at that. Now that's what a race car should look like. Here we have the few Corvettes. Another BMW, GT350. Awesome yellow Corvette, a Shelby. Oh goodness, look at that black on black. They put some type of tape saran wrap in order to protect the sides, that's nice. Oh guys, look at the tires on this. Holy smokes, this right here is a proper race car. Look at that. Look at the headers on that seen anything like that that is awesome GT350 they all have this protective plastic in order to avoid a lot of damage to the paint from the rock chips that come from the track oh and here we have a 720s I'm not gonna lie this silver with the black is working for me 991 Targa 4s oh be risky says the license plate 488 GTV and a 991 turbo some pretty cool cars here today. Oh, nice. We got another M4 representing and a beautiful, what seems to be a GT3 RS over there. Not gonna lie, but the doors on this opening up like that looks really cool. I'm not a huge fan of the R8, but that's probably my favorite feature or characteristic of that car. Look at that. Looks like it's gonna fly. That's awesome. <laughs> Vantage's hood is this entire thing. Now there's something that I really respect on supercars and that's when I see things like this. It just tells me that they're being actually used for what they were designed to do and that's always such a great thing and it puts a smile on my face. I mean, it's a beautiful 488 but they're actually using it on the track and that is a beautiful thing. Oh, that beautiful sound of a Porsche Turbo. This has like a satin finish to it. It is beautiful. Carbon fiber scoops. Now this car is gorgeous, guys. They're about to take these bad boys out. And they're gonna have some fun. There you go. That's a bad looking car. I like that one a lot. That one might be top of my, my top pick at the moment. Even though this 992 looks really nice. I still feel like I'm in love with the 991 body style. Like the 992 is growing on me, but something about the rear tail lights is just uh, it's kind of still not all there for me. But still a beautiful car though. Beautiful. Now I see this Porsche Turbo that I thought was a GT3 but it's actually a Turbo with a GT3 wing and I believe I've seen this one at West Palm Beach. Boom! Right there. 
Yeah, this is definitely the one I've seen over there, and it is fast. There's also some really cool race cars here, just straight up race cars. Very cool. They strip it of everything, only leaving enough space for the engine. of a GT3 Porsche. Nothing better than that. And here we have another Porsche. That's a Carrera, 992 Carrera. Mark V Supra. though compared to all these other cars it sounded nice when he took off let me go oh, i don't know let me go oh, i don't know he's got the carbon fiber for the engine option and a whole bunch of space it's not every race car you can buy where when you're putting your groceries away you get to also enjoy the view at your engine so I think that's really cool. It has the red stitching all along. It's got the seat belts to match the outside. I'm not gonna lie, if I were to spec a Corvette, it'd probably be like this, because red and black is my life, so. Loving this car right here. We have another one here, blue one. This one also looks extremely nice. It's got the protective tape over the front. Keep any rock chips from hurting it. Looks beautiful in blue too, guys, not gonna lie. The Corvette is just beautiful all around. So this here is the beginner section. Um, the beginner li lineup looks pretty good, though. That looks like a... The Camaro Z01 maybe. Sounds super nice, it's cammed out. We got a Miata. Yes, I see. Shelby GT350. guys for a beginner lineup those are pre some pretty powerful cars <laughs> that sounds like a jet I don't know what the heck that car has. It sounded like just air being sucked in in that car. I didn't hear any exhaust noises. I don't know what that was. But I really need to get a closer look at that. Oh, they are going at it. I think that jet wind sounding thing is actually just the protective tape they have over the hood. You just hear the shh of the little flap things going off. So it has an exhaust. We're good. So here we have a beautiful 993. This car has, as the owner says, too many modifications. It'd be a too long of a list, but definitely has an exhaust. Look at the tires on this. He's got some R888s on it. They look super beefy. 
I'm gonna say this is a gorgeous car, guys. And like I said earlier, there's nothing better than to see a beautiful car like this and actually being used for what it was meant to be used for. Wow. It's got some nice bucket seats in it. Wow. Not gonna lie. The Porsche show here today is good. And for those of you that have never seen the hood popped of a 992 Carrera, this is what the hood popped up looks like. This is what you get. Pop the hood. Pop the hood. What do you get? Two fans, oil, and I believe that's, oh yeah, that's coolant. So that's about as much of the engine as you get to see in a 992. Hope you enjoyed that. Well, that does it guys for today's visit to the Homestead Speedway. Out of all the cars we saw today, which one would you guys take? Let me know in the comments below. For me, honestly, it's really hard. It's obviously between all the Porsches we saw, but I think I would have to say the Cub car. The Cub GT3 was epic, and in very close second place, I would say it would be that 993. That thing looks so nice. It's a proper race car. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, please feel free to do so now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.